Because it's Berkey, and I have here a very special guest, media personality Laura Styles. Hi. 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 Do you recall the first time you bought like your designer bag? Yes, I remember. Okay, I remember feeling. By the so way, this guilty. is still part of this question because yeah, I'm I going off. I can talk forever. No, I remember. I remember going to. Uh, I remember going to the Louis Vuitton store, and I was like, "Am I really paying sixteen hundred dollars for a bag?" So yes. I just remember being like. All right, you know what? I work hard, I deserve it. But I definitely felt super guilty for like the entire month. But weren't you like so excited yeah. every day after yeah, that to wear it? it. <laughs> yeah, I still have it, of course. Color coordinating outfits with your partner. Is that Never. tacky or tasteful? Never, no, it's so annoying. And I've dated guys that we've shown up in the same place wearing like all black and like a, a bright shoe or something like that. And I get so annoyed. You're like, we're so corny. Yeah, I can't, I'm not into that. I don't like that not at all. So if you if your man wanted to do that, you'd be like, no, no way. I'd be like, no, babe. That's not Let, happening. Let's show different. Let's show a different way to show that we love each other. We don't have to do this. <laughs> What's a no-no like for the office, or even I mean, where you work is different than a regular office setting. Right. But like for a woman, what would you say is like a absolute? Well, let me not. see. Something that and this is just for me that I don't. I just don't wear inappropriate clothes to my office. I don't. I'm just not one that's gonna wear like a tiny mini, mini skirt to work or something that's too provocative to work. I don't feel like I need to. What style do you like to see your men in? I like someone who's uh, like me in the sense that they can balance. You know, I, it's like me, I, I, sometimes I want to go out on a Friday night and I'll put on a dress and I'll put on a good, a good pair of shoes mm -hmm. and, you know, into it up. Like the other day I saw this, this, this guy, he had like this cute blazer. Uh -huh. A cute, simple blazer and he was wearing uh, these, uh, these ripped jeans and he had like a pair of Converse, but just the way he put it together, mm -hmm. he had like a little Comme de Garcon pin. It's just like, I pay attention to detail. Okay. So someone, I like someone who also does the same. A piece of jewelry you can't live without? Earrings, I always have to have earrings. No matter big what earrings? it is. It could be, it could be big earrings, it could be studs, but I can't leave the house without earrings. I feel like that's like a Latina thing. Yeah, I guess like, so. I mean, I, I don't know, I, I'm the same way, but if, if anything, I'll just wear like studs or yeah, something. Yeah, if, if I walk out of the house without earrings, I have, to, I have to go to the store and buy something. I need something in my ears. What did you learn about style of fashion from like your mom or your abuelita, somebody, you know? My mother would not leave the house without makeup. <laughs> She's not leaving the house without makeup. So she always was doing it. No matter what, how late we were, she was like, uh-uh, I got a pencil in my eyebrows and I have to put on some lipstick. And So I don't leave the house without something on. Who's your style icon? Gwen Stefani. Mm -hmm. Even though I, it's like, I wouldn't necessarily wear everything that she does, but I love how she pulls it off. So have you learned anything about fashion or men's fashion from like your coworkers on your show? Rosenberg loves vintage. Like my birthday was two days ago, right? Okay. So Happy he, belated birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and he got me the, the most thoughtful gift. He got me a Los Angeles Raiders sweatshirt. And it is so amazing because number one, I'm never gonna find a Los Angeles Raiders sweatshirt. Yeah. But it just reminded me, like to me it was super, I was like, it was super nostalgic because it reminded me of a time in Los Angeles where I couldn't wear that because you know, it was like growing up in Los Angeles at the time, because of the gang violence and everything mm -hmm. that was going on, that wasn't something that you could wear. But it just reminds me of where I came from. And plus, it's it's a collector's piece. And it's very super thoughtful. Cool and super thoughtful and he's a sweetheart. But yeah, he has like, the ill collection of like vintage t-shirts. And Ebro is very plain. He doesn't like any writing. He doesn't like any big logos. And he, if he could, I think he would wear like the same outfit every day. Anything regarding like what they like as far as women's fashion? Rosenberg doesn't care. Okay. He's like whatever, you, you know, him and his wife have such a great relationship mm -hmm. and he's, he celebrates anything. If she's in a hoodie or if she's in a dress, he loves it all. Mm -hmm. I think Ebro hates kitten heels. Okay. If he sees a woman in kitten heels, he gets angry. <laughs> He's like, you either do it or you, or you don't. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, do it all the way or don't yeah, do it. Yeah. I think it's so funny where, right, when I see him cringe when he sees kitten heel. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way about Yeah, yeah, me heels. too. Yeah, I feel him on that too. I'm like, it's like going there a Just little bit. Just do it or don't. Yeah. 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 Right, Thank then. you so much. I feel like you're I know so welcome. much more about you when it comes to fashion now too. Um, it was awesome. Thank you it for having me. It was a pleasure me. having you here. Uh -huh. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Bye, guys.